Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part 5, the final part for today for Friday, March 29th, 2013. I'm Darko, my website's ggnonline.com. If you didn't know, on YouTube it's ddarko2012 and ddarko2013. Those are my channels if you'd like to subscribe. And the link should be posted in YouTube's video description unless I have technical issues. Alright, so I'm going to get into some news here. may offend some people, but hey, that's, uh, if we're supposedly in a free country and freedom of speech and uh, tolerance, then you should have tolerance for what I say. So, hard-boiled eggs, why are you cooking them wrong or why you are cooking them wrong? So everybody's uh, getting the vinegar-colored, uh, what do you call it, food coloring in that, uh, their eggs, and getting ready to um, have a ham dinner. Uh, they're gonna. Most of them are gonna forget what Easter is all about. Following in Jesus' footsteps, Christians around the world commemorate Good Friday by acting out the crucifixion. This is could be a little. Uh, uh, I don't want to say intimidating, but it could be a little um, weird when you're around it. I had. I actually was living in a place. Uh, probably, you know, a little while ago, maybe you know, three or four years ago, where it was. They actually were right around my right around my house in the corner. And they were doing this, and there was like Romans whipping uh, this Jesus dude. Uh, they hired, I think, Mexicans for it to play the Romans, it is, uh, which is pretty messed up. But either way, um, hundreds of reenactments taking place to mark Christians. Holy Day, devotees in Philippines have their hands nailed to wooden cross. So it says also in Indonesia and India. So here's one of them in India. And uh, then you have... Uh, in, Indian devotees reenact the crucifixion to atone for their sins. So, and uh, then what else do we have? Again, India carrying the cross, the whipping and stuff. Uh, it's pretty interesting, though, the whole thing uh, that, that uh, you know, I'm not, I don't want to get into this whole thing, but uh, the cleansing of the temple. Uh, basically, he was killed for calling out the usury system that happened to be run by very wealthy Jews. That's what Jesus really died for. I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to be kind of like, I might get loose subscribers by that, but that's just kind of how I see it. I just, when I hear that, the, I, it didn't make sense to me. I mean, I was raised Catholic, and I went to, when I didn't go to a Catholic school, um, I went to, like, CCD, Sunday school, you know what I mean? High schools, uh, it was a private school. But, uh, you know, I... I'm not saying I didn't buy it all or that I did buy it all. It's just I try to think for myself here, and it just he died for our sins. I, I mean, our sins of what? You know what I mean? And I just he died for something. He was basically sent. He was basically set up by these wealthy um, Jews in in uh, in the area uh, to kill him because he was calling out their system as being evil, which is what we live under today. So uh, instead of looking at all the Romans, I mean, you really shouldn't be Romans around him. It was actually, what, the Roman uh, 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 Pontius Pilate, he was kind of like, well, I'll just do it if you want me to, but I, he hasn't really committed any crimes that we know of. I mean, they really should have, like, those those typical Jews with the hats and all that stuff really around him whipping them, because that's really who's responsible for the whole thing. The cleansing of the temple refers to the narrative of Jesus and the money changers and occurs in all four canonical gospels of the New Testament. In this gospel episode, Jesus and his disciples travel to Jerusalem for Passover where he expels the money changers from the temple, accusing them of turning the temple into a den of thieves through their commercial activities. So, this is the only account of Jesus using physical force in any of the gospels and is related to the topic of but to bring a sword. It says here that um, thus in some views, I wonder who they are, making a claim to being the Son of God, though it is common in the Abrahamic religions to refer to God as God the Father. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing about Khazaria, but you talk about hypocrisy. Uh, Jesus was killed by the money changers over usury, so it says here Jesus was a beautiful Jew, was killed by the elite Jewish money changers who were perping the fraud of the usury on the people. It says here the Bible warns of usury 15x, 15 times. He was killed for the same reasons that most are usury. Caesar, Lincoln were killed because they resisted it. Just some background, all borrowers cannot pay the usury back. Usury destroys even on, uh, yeah, it destroys gold, silver money. Even if the money changers loan the people $1 million gold at 1%, the total debt is, uh, whatever, $1 million and 10,000, but how do people pay that 10,000 in gold interest money, i.e., how do you pay uh, this 1,000,000, 10,000 if only 1,000,000 is in circulation?
It says most will pay their loans back, but some are guaranteed to lose their homes, businesses, governments, cars, independence, jobs, and their dignity. They must either default and lose their collateral or borrow more. Plays into the capitalist system that I was talking about. If you have a job, somebody else doesn't, right? That's how it works. So as long as you get yours, everybody else. Outrage at Jew in the Box exhibition in Berlin Museum where participants sit in glass cage for hours answering questions. This is kind of crazy. This is from today. Everything you always want to know about Jews exhibition causes a stir. So a controversial live exhibit is intended to teach visitors about Judaism. The Jewish Museum in Berlin has been criticized as degrading Jewish people. Properly known as Jew in the Box, it has been a hit with visitors. So, nearly 70 years after the Holocaust, there is no more sensitive an issue than German life than it's the role of the Jews. So, they won't say the role of the Jews prior to that, to, to, to the World War II, but, uh, and, the, and their role on society and stuff like that, and how it basically usury system kept Germany to where they had the wheelbarrows, the notorious wheelbarrows of money to buy a loaf of bread that came, you know, from usury. With fewer than 200,000 Jews among Germany's 82 million people, it says few Germans born after World War II know any Jews or much about them. So, and uh, it's it's insane over there. You can't even talk about anything or question anything. So I'm not very surprised. So, but they're going to tell them their history. That's the interesting. Uh, it's uh, it's very interesting how um, how Zionists and that react to these things because you think it'd be good because they're going to tell them that they come from whatever the twelve tribes of Israel that they weren't actually from Gazari that they didn't steal a religion and uh and were actually from you know kind of like an Asia uh Asia Russia and stuff like that um they're not they're not going to go into that that um that they're quote false Jews right they're not the chosen people of Israel no they're going to they're going to perpetuate the lies but it doesn't really matter because no matter what they do they'll always be on the defense so they'll always be attacked i mean that's dude that is a good strategy i mean you can take over the world if you can't say anything anything about, you know, if nobody else can say anything about you without being politically correct. I mean, that's why homosexuality is so prevalent now, because it's actually, you can't say anything about it. I mean, it would be, just be great. Ohio landlord accused of whipping tenants over late rent. Said Ohio landlord allegedly whipped two adult men, including a mentally disabled man with belts and paddles, over late rent. And because the interest is due at the end of the month, isn't it? The 53-year-old 53, 53 was charged with assault. On March 7th, after a 29-year-old man said he struck him repeatedly with a belt over $2,000 in past due rent, saying all the while, if you're going to act like a child, I'm going to treat you like one. So, pretty interesting. All right, next up, Obama signs Monsanto Protection Act, written by Monsanto's sponsored senator. It says here he signed the bill into law that was written in part by very by the very billion-dollar corporation that will benefit directly from the legislation. So just imagine what they're going to be doing here with all this food and the food supply. Just wait. You know, I'm talking about how the population is going to explode. It's going to go down. Just wait till the effects take hold. People's bodies. Full vaccine schedule safe for kids. No link to autism, especially when you have this crap out there too, right? USA Today, it's new study in the latest research failing to find a connection between autism and vaccines because they weren't looking for them, probably um, supplied or somehow funded indirectly, covertly, by uh, GlaxoSmithKline and Baxter, who are killing and maiming children, by the way. I mean, their flu vaccines are linked to narcolepsy. It's been proven, just went over that in Sweden. You know, uh, all those people that, that, that can, uh, contracted narcolepsy due to the flu vaccine, much hyped. At least 10% of parents of the young children skip or delay routine vaccinations, often out of concern that kids are getting too many shots too soon. So mother's intuition, no, that's wrong. You know, that's wrong. you got to go with science. See, the, new, the scientists say that children who receive the full schedule of vaccinations have no increased risk of, uh, of um, basically, autism. Teens susceptible to hepatitis B infection despite vaccination as infants. So the whole thing is that the flu vaccine doesn't actually even work to begin with, but then it actually hurts you. So... It says here, federal health officials recommend administering the first dose of hepatitis B vaccine by the time you're 12 years old. It says here, if you want to avoid it, you must take it very clear. Uh, you must make it very clear to all hospital staff well before the delivery and monitor your baby closely until you leave the hospital. They're part of the standard recommended, government recommended childhood vaccination schedule. They said it's not primarily a children's disease. It says here that... Uh, it's a common threat to newborn babies. 
It says here, the primary reason the CDC recommends hepatitis B vaccines for all newborns in the U.S. in 91 is because health officials and doctors could not persuade adults in high-risk groups, primarily drug abusers and persons with multiple sex partners, to get the vaccine. Brazilian doctor investigated over 300 hospital deaths. The woman has been charged with murders of seven patients, but authorities warn that the numbers of victims may be higher. So the world's, it says here, one of the world's worst serial killers. Accused of cutting the oxygen to people on life support system and administering lethal doses of muscle relaxing drugs. Parasite turning us all into zombies, according to scientists. At least 40% of the population may be living at the mercy of parasites that infect their brains. That's right. Just under half the world's humans have been turned into real life equivalent zombies. Neuroparasitology, or whatever the UK Telegraph calls zombie reprogramming, is a result of parasites or other microbes entering the brain and rewiring how you think and act. So it often occurs in nature and it can occur in humans. So this here they recorded activity uh, before and after receiving the flu vaccine. They said before the vaccine, they uh, interacted with an average of 54 people a day after it shot up to 101. They say it's as if the flu virus wanted them to find someone else, find new people to infect. Beyonce offers support for gay marriage, saying it's about time. And then uh, we have this, millennials, the millennial generation, the only generation whose majority supports same-sex marriage. Support for same-sex marriage is split along generational lines with opposition to rede redefine uh, marriage, remaining strong among older generations and only millennials mustering majority of support. It says here that uh, they found that those 70% born after 81 uh, favor marriage redefinition. It says here also, that the second greatest support for marriage was among Generation X, those between 1965 and 1980 with 49%. America's largest population block, baby boomers, trailed far behind at only 38%. So it says the silent generation was about 33%. So that's interesting, too. That's, that's you know, that's part of the engineer consent and uh, the programming. So Michelle shocked stages sit-in at club that canceled her show over anti-LGBT remarks. So these are people that you know, were big fans. Now they just turned on her. So according to the AP, the club had canceled a scheduled performance by a shock after the art folk singer's homophobic outburst and recent performance. So she was sporting a mask and wearing duct tape over mouths that read silence by fear. She shook her head and played her guitar vigorously when passerbys attempt to ask her questions. It says in an interview, she has spoken about her conversion to Christianity. So they're for tolerance and free speech, just as long as it's their free speech, then they become intolerant. Religious groups apologize for linking marriage equality supporters to Nazis. Religious group in Minnesota issued a public half apology, say half apology, on Friday for an online, online posting that accused supporters of marriage equality of practicing the Nazi philosophy of propaganda. Not really even that, it's just coercion, really. Intimidation and threat of force. So according to the news, uh, they called the sermon starter, uh, yeah, called the sermon starter accuses the LGBT community of using bias and discredited studies to promote an agenda, which is basically this, tell a lie long enough and law enough, eventually most mindless Americans will believe it. it. Says the remarks were rebuked by the Jewish community leaders, of course, so then it just goes on and on and on and on, which, you know, that, that, uh, it's weird because that, that, uh, Goebbels was actually referring to the English, saying, talking about their thick-headedness, that the English follow the principle that one lies, one should lie big and stick to it. They keep up their lies even at the risk of looking ridiculous. He accuses the English of the big lie and suggests that uh, were he to use a technique, he would publicly, not publicly, announce it. The introduction of Nazi labels is comparison into the American political debate since a collective chill at the spine of the Jewish community, says Karen Yasha of the Minneapolis Jewish Federation. This is what I was talking about. Chick-fil-A owner treats gay marriage rally to a meal. Mexican pro-life leader denounces funding of pro-abortion groups by the Catholic Relief Services. The leader of the most uh, influential pro-life organization has denounced the decision of Catholic Relief Services to fund two organizations opposing pro-life laws and ad advocating the decriminalization and government provision of abortion. New York Catholic High School president welcomes gay couple to prom. North Dakota governor gets death threats after signing new pro-life laws. From the left-leaning Ross story, Mississippi governor appoints anti-choice activist to state health, state health board. She has a complete lack of medical or health care relating training. That's, that's right, they, they refer to as contraceptives and, and abortions as reproductive health, so. 
Planned Parenthood official argues for right to post-birth abortion.